So when we talk about logic and reasoning, people that are well versed in mathematics may insert math into the discussion. And for most of us that gave up on math a long time ago may find this annoying but they do have a point. In order to perceive math to be an important tool in dealing with practical real-life problems, we must accept that math has problem solving as an important component. Find x, find y, and so on. And even if you're missing some context, mathematical reasoning helps and assists you to the right answer because it revolves around patterns, structures, and regularities. Mathematical reasoning helps us deduce if the patterns we see around us in the real world make sense. Reasoning using logic is also rooted in maths and this enhances skills that we use in our everyday lives such as problem-solving skills, which is helpful especially for us students. Every day, we make decisions. Some simple, while some are more complex. In every situation, we would have to make a decision, and some decisions require detailed analysis since their solutions have contradictory effects. In a simpler explanation, decision-making is the process of choosing between two or more alternative courses of action. Mathematics plays an important role in decision-making. Through assessment and data gathering, mathematics can help us evaluate the best option in certain situations. The process involves weighing out the advantages of every possible decision or solution while also analyzing the consequences of the decision and mapping out alternative options. We use mathematics for decision making in our daily lives such as choosing the best route for a trip, selecting which product to buy, assigning tasks to your group or employees, and so much more. The group can agree that game theory is one of the most fun and exciting topics we have. But why is it important in the field of mathematics? Well, it's like the mathematical analysis of decision making. Although it can be and has been used in analyzing further games, this mathematical model can be used in economics, business, politics, and biology, just to name a few. For example, in politics, it has been used to challenge the legality of a certain voting system. And it can also be used to know the optimal price in face of competitors in business. So in conclusion, game theory can be used in different situations with each has a different concept of what constitutes a solution. The advancement of the digital age brought new opportunities for us humans today. Unlike before, we cannot communicate without having to meet face-to-face -face and even use wires. To add to that, individuals and businesses can now gain significant financial value with the help of the stock market, online banking, and e-commerce in the digital world to name a few. Mathematics and finance helps us understand and plan financial moves and foresee trends and changes in the market and gauge the risk and reward of an investment to get into. Mathematics and digital communications, on the other hand, helps us have a smooth communication, prevents us from receiving errors in the message, and secures the digital communication system. Without the help of mathematics, specifically mathematics in finance and digital communications, a lot of the things we use that makes our lives easier today are not available. So learning all these concepts discussed in the class made me realize how complex the field of mathematics is. Majority of the things I encountered in this course, I actually encountered for the first time, like coding theory, social choice, assignment problems, and such. Looking back, it amazes me how in just a few months, I already learned so many new concepts and especially valuable topics. What made it even better for me was that while I was learning all of these, I knew that at some point in the future, I'd be able to use it in real-life situations. In terms of the difficulty of the topics, I can say that some of them were challenging, some required more analysis like it did for math and finance, and some were surprisingly easier than expected, like game theory. Through this course, I learned that there's so much significance in being patient, especially with the more intricate problems and really trying your best to understand what you can't. Overall, I definitely enjoyed the term and it for sure made me push myself more to learn independently and appreciate math so much more. So if I were 
were to describe my experience in this course in three words, it would be challenging, fruitful, and practical. Challenging because math was never one of my strong suits as a student, and at times I found it hard to process most procedures because of the sole reason that they were in numerical form rather than in word form. But it was fruitful because this is one of the few math subjects that I felt like I actually excelled in, and not only was it a learning experience for me in the academic aspect, but through this course I was also somehow able to make better connections with other people and as well as gain a stronger sense of self due to feeling like I actually conquered and understood a math subject. Lastly, it's practical because there were many different applications of mathematics that can really be applied to real life situations, especially ones that I will soon be faced with when I enter the workforce and adulthood.